out. A massive row has erupted in Tamil Nadu after Madras Music Academy honoured musician T.M. Krishna with the Sangeetha Kala Nidhi Award. Several Karnataka vocalists, including Ranjani Gayatri, Harikatha exponent Dushan Sridhar, have withdrawn from the Academy Music Conference. But what are the allegations against T.M. Krishna? These musicians have accused him of causing immense damage to the Carnatic music world and uh, stomping over the sentiments of the music community. They also allege that T.M. Krishna has insulted icons like M.S. Subalakshmi and Tyagaraja. The Carnatic duo have accused uh, T.M. Krishna of openly disrespecting the Brahmin community, stomping their sentiments and all of this has created so much of chaos in the Carnatic music world. The, the Carnatic duo Ranjani Gayatri have spoken to my colleague Anaga Keshav and allege that Brahmins are easy targets for everyone. Let's listen in. Of a lot of Carnatic musicians. In fact, right after you tweeted, so many other artists have followed your footsteps and some have returned their Sangeeta Kalanidhi award. Some have cancelled their performances in the Music Academy. Uh, Ma'am, I just want to ask you, uh, going against a Sabha that is as influential as Music Academy, what led you to take this decision, Ma'am? We are not against any Sabha and we completely recognize the uh, power and right of Music Academy to bestow their award to anybody that they want to. Uh, mm -hmm. If you notice the communication, the post, if you read it carefully, we have not talked about the award at all. It mm -hmm. is. We have said very clearly that the music conference happens with a presiding musician. And when mm. music conference is led by such a president, we do not want to be part of a festival, a conference, which has Mr. T.M. Krishna as its president. And this is our problem. And of course, our post also lists the reasons that we have given. Uh, one of the reasons is that uh, uh, the area, Mr. Krishna has always consistently tried to vilify and uh, throw mm. stones at the musical fraternity. Um, so this needs to be, uh, and a lot of sensational press coverage has to be given, has been given to such accusations without finding out the accuracy, the rightness of these accusations. And uh, if you want to really do social work, uplift, take music to areas, to regions, to communities, then there is a way to do it. And every musician, we are all willing to come together to join in this noble purpose of taking classical music to everyone. In fact, that is our avowed purpose too. But you can do it without defining villains and projecting yourself as a hero. That is not only defamatory and unnecessary accusation, it also puts yourself in a position of unearned power and freedom. And that is why we have uh, we call out this entire posturing as social work. The second very important uh, position that we have taken is Krishna's glorification of a figure like Iriya, who has consistently, uh, I would say, denigrated a single community, called for genocide. Please note that genocide victims criminal offence and um, he may have done some good work which uh, I am willing to be educated on Periyar and so on. He may have done good work but does that justify genocide? A call for genocide. A call for genocide. Does it, does it justify the mm. of Brahmin community particularly its demand? Is it not misogyny at its worst? Uh, so I frequent use of profanity, abuses consistently over decades. You know, I don't hmm. want to even know these terms which come really to your mind, but you can go search for it. So profanity hurled at a single community does not make anyone a social reformer. So to glorify these people and call them and then, you know, 
try to bask in in this kind of a, a wild light does not fit my idea of social reform and we have spoken against all this and you know that is the contents of our you finally broken your silence on this important topic that has always been lingering in the minds of a lot of carnatic musicians in fact right after you tweeted so many other that was the carnatic duo that is uh, ranjani gayatri calling out tm krishna to be vilifying the brahmin community particularly the women and accused him of possessing a misogynistic mindset Hari Katha exponent Dushyant Sridhar openly stated that while he has no authority to question the selection of TM Krishna for the coveted award he would not perform as a part of the 2025 Music Academy conference Dushyant Sridhar has clearly stated that he has always had a sea of ideological differences with uh, TM Krishna owing to his sensitive statements made time and again on several religious issues hence he called upon the madras music Commu academy to raise to better heights in the future